Hello. What a long break that was. I've been gone for half a day, I think. All right, so I'm going to talk about this whole situation that you, obviously I don't even have to mention what it is. So if there's one thing I regret the most, it's impulsively coming on here and doing that live stream talking about my private matters online. <laughs> Um, I can assure you, with regards to my marriage, that will never happen again. Yeah, okay, whatever, Meg. The internet, especially when you are me and you have dozens of vultures waiting for any scraps, you throw their way. The internet is not a place to open up if you want a healthy relationship. I learned that the hard way so many times. Regardless, all would have come to light anyway, but my reaction could have been to have handled it in private. So, I had a decision to make. I had a lot of thinking to do. I've been unable to sleep, only thinking about it when I try to fall asleep. And just feeling alone and far away. So, I'll just come right out and say I've decided to make my marriage work. And I will tell you why. Number one reason, just plain and simple, it's the fact that I love Salah. I love him on a level which I have never loved anyone before because of how he treats me. Every single emotion, no matter how corny it may have looked to some in our couple's videos, they were real. Edited, yes, but real. This man opens doors for me, the car door every time we go somewhere. I've never had to open a car door. We are together 24-7 when in Kuwait and he treats me like a queen. I've never felt safer. I know you will all laugh at that, but I'll get to that. And I've also never felt more provided for and loved and cared about in this particular way. Which brings me to the treatment. I mean, it's royal. I am treated like a queen and he has never once been abusive or yelled at me or anything. So to say just because he has a fetish, he is an evil man is just not true because the proof is in him treating me amazing for over a year. And I did know about some fetishes he liked, but it didn't really do like go anywhere. And we just adopted our own intimacy style. I don't judge him on those fetishes because in his real everyday life, not fantasy, he's an amazing man who would not hurt anyone. Um, well, maybe he would kung fu a few dickheads, but yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, my next main reason is because in Kuwait, I do feel like a princess because of how loving and attentive my husband is. The next thing, this is a one-time occurrence. I'm not naive and will say for certain it will never happen again. But if it does, I'm prepared to deal with the consequences. I want to give another chance. Nothing has happened like this before because, well, I just have my ways of knowing, which I won't go into. But even the screenshots that were revealed by between him and the skank um, show Salah saying he has never talked to any other woman, etc., etc.
Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you? Dumb. So he was being open at that moment. So I believe he was being honest. Like medically speaking, are you like? Like I'm not trying to be mean. Like are you dumb? Are you? D I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think is she. Do you think oh, she's? she's? She's dumb. dumb. So when I weigh the good versus bad, which is this one incident, I think our love and marriage is worth saving. He is very sorry and is willing to make it up to me in every way possible for as long as it takes. I don't want to break up our family over this. This incident has revealed that we need to communicate better our intimate wants and needs and feelings. We will work on our personal marriage privately. Now, the amount of hate I've been getting over taking back my husband is just ridiculous and insane, if I'm being honest. So the key term I want to focus on is my marriage, M-Y space M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. Not the internet's marriage not the haters marriage my marriage which means other than this mishap no one knows much about my marriage at all heck a lot of you are still speculating on whether we are even married at all or not so it's safe to say that behind closed doors no one really knows the dynamic and how we treat each other period but i do though and i live my life I share it, but in the end, I live it, and the only right you have is your opinion, which without the experience of living my life, is not very credible. I appreciate all your support, I really do, but when it comes to life, I have a right to make decisions that are fully my own. Salah is an amazing man, but he is also human. Just like every one of you, though some I'm not sure anymore are actually human. I'm talking about Gore World. But anyway, he's not perfect. YouTubers are not perfect. Far from it. And that's why you're even watching me. But I will tell you, if you're watching for a train wreck, you will be watching for a long time because this train just keeps going. It hasn't stopped yet. I know you're hoping for a crash, but you know why it never happens? I have safety features, my friends. It's called God. And praying and giving my stresses to him and appreciating bad moments and only thinking how I can grow from them. So all in all, the good in our marriage greatly outweighs the bad. We have built a nice little life together as a pet family and it's cozy and loving, but nothing and no one is perfect. And I am willing to look past this, provided it does not happen again. And like I said, if it ever did, I'm prepared to deal with the consequences. So going forward, I will mostly be doing content that involves close to no personal life stuff. I want to do videos on cooking healthy, travel and vlogs and shopping hauls and really becoming obsessed with being a new me.